Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is June 9th. Uh, we've got corn and wheat starting off a little bit lower this morning. Corn down two and a half cents, wheat down three. Uh, beans uh, unchanged to slightly higher. Um, we did have some fundamental news that was uh, out yesterday afternoon. Good to excellent ratings for corn. Stayed unchanged at 74%. Beans, uh, their first good to excellent ratings came out at 69%. Last year, though, at this time, uh, we were at about 74 uh, Spring wheat down 2% at 69%. Good to excellent uh, as well. So a little bit disappointing there out of, uh, out of wheat. Planning progress also coming in a little disappointing. Beans at 79% planted five-year average sitting at 81 percent we know there's been a lot of rain uh, across the corn belt and uh, through the midsection here of the u.s and looks like there's more rain on the way so um what we've decided to do is we're we've started a uh, a two-week acreage survey uh, we're going to be giving guys a call around the country uh, as well as you can participate by going online and just putting in your uh, your planning, not acreage survey, but uh, planning survey, uh, but you can go in and pl- plug in your numbers um, and uh, and let us know what you've planted uh, versus, well, what you may not have. We're hearing out there that some guys may have to be taking preventative plant, um, but those dates uh, are not quite here as of yet. But if this rain does continue, this will be an issue here as we move forward. But it's uh, we've got a big report here at the end of the month. Uh, we're going to see new acreage numbers, quarterly stock numbers. Um, but ahead of us tomorrow, there is a supply and demand report. That supply and demand report is looking for corn and wheat ending stocks to actually increase a little bit, but a decrease, so a decline for ending stocks for beans. Now, most of that has uh, has to do with export sales being stronger and maybe some adjustments that USDA needs to make uh, as far as exports. So, uh, so watch for that here tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, but as I mentioned, our survey, get online, uh, put those numbers in. We can really use your help with that, uh, compiling the best data we can here over the next couple of weeks. Looking at livestock, we're slightly lower for both cattle and hogs. Cattle show list numbers coming in very strong, up 39,000 head. Uh, that should have been looked at as probably negative, but once those numbers came out, we saw some strength uh, in the cattle markets, especially, be- oh, well, I guess only because we've seen futures that are still at a discount right now to the cash market, and we haven't seen any cash trade yet uh, here this week. Box beef, though, coming in lower. Uh, choice down 54, select down twenty-six. So continuing this slide that we've seen, uh, and then hogs, cut out values down 32. We've seen a lot of back and forth trade there as well. Seasonally, we do see a low coming in here for the hogs uh, that we may end up seeing uh, a bounce once we do see that low made. Um, stock market right now down 14. Crude oil a little higher, actually a dollar 35 higher. And we've got the dollar up about 20 cents right now as well. Metals are working a little higher. Uh, as well. So if you have questions, give us a call here. We're here to help you out. Uh, 800-262-7538 or check us out right on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.